We're going to pick up where we left off with the menu exploration on the Lumix S1 and S1R. We are into the wrench menu. And at the top, we have the card options, starting off with card format, which I cannot select now. And I believe that's because I am connected, tethered to the computer. But it just you know, allows you to format the cards, as you would expect. Double card slot function, nothing new in here. You can define where you want your pictures and videos to go to card one or card two. The difference now being that one of those is SD, one of those is QXD. I think that's right. Um, otherwise, I don't think anything's different. Copyright information, I'm not sure if that was in, that might not actually be in the G-Series cameras. I think that might be different. Yeah, I don't think that's in there. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure you set it, set your name in there. Yeah, that is new. Awesome. Oh, I didn't even notice that before. Fantastic. Okay, next up, power save mode, uh, monitor frame rate. So this we had before, 30 and 60 for the monitor, but the LVF now goes up to 120 frames per second. It is so smooth looking through the viewfinder in here. Incredible, incredible. It does take more battery power. In fact, not that it matters at this point, but I could turn that down and save some juice. Um, monitor settings, monitor backlight, nothing there. Remaining, remaining battery level indicator. You, some of you might have noticed before that you saw percentages on that battery level. Before we only had the actual bars on there, now we can do a percentage as well. It still doesn't show a percentage on the top LCD. That's only on the, uh, on the back LCD, but there you go. Status LCD, nothing new there. Eye sensor, level gauge adjust, nothing new there. Beeping, headphone volume. Um, USB connection type, battery information, nothing new there. Save to custom mode, load custom modes. Note those are your C settings. Um, save, restore camera settings, reset, clock set, time zone, pixel refresh, sensor cleaning. I don't think anything new in these. Online manual, which by the way, there isn't one there, so don't ask. Um, and then your, your user menus. So there are three user menus here now. I, th I kind of think three pages of them. Were there fewer be before? I think there were fewer, maybe just one page that infinitely scrolled. I don't remember how much that is. But you have your full user controllable uh, menus in there. So what that means is, and because this is great, because there's so many functions in here, so many different options. If there are ones that you go to regularly, but not so often that you feel like sacrificing one of your actual physical buttons to it, then you can put it into a My Settings page where you get to those settings more quickly, just a couple of taps instead of you know, digging through the menu system and trying to remember where they are. So that's how that works. That, ladies and gentlemen, is that. Thank you very much. So if you are watching the edited version of this and you've gotten this far and you feel like you missed a lot of gaps in between, the version that was live that lasted uh, almost two hours is still online. We'll put a link to that down below so you can check that out if you really want to see the whole thing behind the scenes, all the gritty, nitty, gritty, dirty. But otherwise, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you decide to buy one of these cameras, needless to say, please use my links down below. I would appreciate that. All right, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.